say hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to our day. Welcome to our day. <laughs> Good boy. Yeah, I found a ghost windsock. It's pretty darn cute. You filming this? So you think I'm a freaking fluffy? <laughs> Ladder safety. That's me. <laughs> Doing this when I'm not well. <laughs> not the smartest idea in the world, I have to admit. It. it can only tip so much because of the wall. Also, I cut up all the bits for Larry to Santa. Huh? We now have a post box and half an elf. Two hours later. Five hours later. Distraction makes really healthy. <laughs> eight hours later. Different twelve to eight. Two, five, and eight. Oh. <laughs> I don't think you've ever gone up that high, have you? Yay. Oh. Treats, mummies. Treats, mummies. Girls. One more time, one more time. Well, the, the thing. Yeah. Good girl out there. Good girl, And again, Dixie. Dixie's turn. Elba's turn. Dixie's turn. One more time. Dixie's turn. Dixie's turn. Dixie's turn. Oh, I've got it. I was getting impatient while Dixie's like, nope. Dixie, your turn. If you want. It's like I already bloody did it. Treats? Treats, mummy. Dixie, one more time. Hit the button. Alba's like, hang on, where's it gone? Where's it gone? Uh, ball. Uh. Dixie. Button. As you can tell, uh, Dixie's still got some learning to do. She could do it. She's probably having a yeah. because of, <laughs> of the fact. Good girls. Sometimes my lip gets stuck on my tooth. <laughs> I, I licked it out. <laughs> Are you recording? I am now. Did you hear what they thought you were No. Sophie was just standing in the kitchen staring out because she turned and said, I need to go pick up the food because I've got a hospital appointment and it's Saturday. And then uh, Sophie just stood there. So I'm like, why are you just staring at the poo? I can't remember what your response Judging yeah, how many bags. Many. It was just really weird that Sophie was just like. <laughs> but anyway, an ambulance should be picking me up sometime soon because my appointment's at 10 and it's now quarter past eight. Um. Because I'm meant to be having my iron infusion. This is a long time coming and I am so excited to see how much energy I have left, like, after this. I'm excited for your, for your treatment. I'm not excited for today. Oh, no, not excited for today. I'm just excited that what the iron infusion is going to do, do for me. So... 
it's going to be hell for both of us. Yeah, because Steve's got to stay at home because the transport won't take Steve. We still have a new car, which is why I'm needing hospital transport. So yeah, all good fun, but at least we're on the move, hopefully. I forgot to say the other day when Soph was helping get everything set up because I was doing more of the letters to Santa display, there was a horrific noise coming down the, the street. Oh, yeah. And it sounded like me when I got the little um, bag that's on wheels coming back from Tesco's. But obviously I was at home. So I quickly jumped on the camera to have a look, see if I could find anything. And the only thing that came by was our neighbour. And I had just spotted their rear passenger wheel it was completely flat. So I said to Sif, I was like, Sif, you're going to have to say something. What was it? She's terrible because she's a little old dear. And the last thing we want is for it to have gone bang and she's having this huge, like, anxiety attack or whatever which is what would have happened if it happened to us yeah so so finally goes over there and because i was anxious because people yeah and uh <laughs> 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 so it's like We, we, oh, I can't remember. What did we you say? Heard your, we heard that your wheel was flat. We could hear it from, like, coming down the street. And she just, she leant around the car and was just like, oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Just driving on a flat. <laughs> She's like, I did think it felt a bit funny when I was trying to get the car into position to park. <laughs> Bless her. <laughs> But at least she wasn't like traumatized. Yeah. Um. And thankfully, she was able to get. I think it was her son come out early so that they can move the wheel so that the car wasn't on a flat wheel, like ruining the the wheel plate thingy. Um. But yeah, she sort of said that she was really thankful because she would have just kept going in and out and been like none the wiser. So she really would have had a screwed up car at that point. <laughs> just couldn't believe it. It was just a horrific noise, because our street is like bricks. It's not tarmac or asphalt, um, so it sounded <laughs> literally like if you were going down um, one of those things that tell you to reduce your speed, and there's like loads of little dips, and it's like it was like that, but like super fast. But we were thankful that we managed to figure it out and let her know because I'd hate to think about what would happen if she had continued to go out driving. Yeah. All good fun. But I'm now wait still waiting for this ambulance. So he's doing the oxygen. I really don't like the thought of going in a an ambulance with lots of people yeah. so I've got like masks, hand sanitizer, everything and it's just like Especially don't touch anything. A lot of people aren't wearing masks, even mm. medical professionals. Yeah, definitely. And you hope with being in a in a in very tight and close space that they would. Yeah. But who knows why not? Yeah. Scary. No likey. No likey. <laughs> no. I'm gonna go put my face on. My chest has been really, really itchy, so I just looked down, and I don't know if it's going to show on here. There. All around here is starting to get hives, and I'm also getting red marks from where I had 
the tape on my arm and I'm allergic to tapes and like sticky stuff that, that they use in the hospitals but I thought all was good yesterday because uh, nothing had happened but it looks like it's all coming out now so you can get delayed reactions of things and we're hoping that it is just the tapes and the ECG stickers and all that and not the iron that's going through my body right now but yeah I've just taken out his spleen hoping that will help settle it down but yeah not ideal and I also have to have another dose Saturday come in because my levels were so bad I have to have two doses yeah and I was just thinking that it would only be one yeah they've just followed you down something soon for our mummy dad's yeah and it was a nightmare trying to get transport because they forgot about me. Then they made up some lies. And I was supposed to get picked up at half past one. I think I then got picked up at quarter to eight. Quarter to eight? Quarter to seven? Quarter, quarter to seven. seven. That's how late they were. But I got home anyway. But yeah, this is now coming up. So fingers crossed. It doesn't go any further. And that's how it works. <laughs>